Hey coaches, this is Tim, and today I want to show you guys how to import your contacts into GetResponse. You know, I actually use GetResponse as my email provider, and I really like them a lot better. One of the reasons that I like them so much is because they allow you to import your Beachbody contacts into GetResponse, and they don't require the double opt-in, which means that they have to confirm their email, so that makes it very easy for us. So I just wanted to show you guys how you can do that pretty easily and uh, get all of your contacts from Beachbody into GetResponse. So the first thing you need to do is go into your, log into your back office, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the My Business button, and then go to My Customers, and then Customer Search. So now what you're gonna do is once that opens up, is this gives you your list of every single customer that you have. So what I like to do first is click the Filter Report button, and then at the very bottom, you're gonna see a button that says select report columns. So what I like to do is go in here, uncheck everything that you don't need. All you really need is their first name, last name, and email. And once you have completed that, now just click the save formatting button at the bottom. And now all you have to do is click, you can either click show report or you can click save report, but actually before you do that, click on here. I actually have Excel, so I like to just click make an Excel document and then click show report or save report. They'll both do the same thing. As you can see at the very bottom, it actually pulls, it actually saves it onto my computer. So now I can just click it here. If you don't know where that is on your computer, most likely it went into your downloads folder, wherever that is on your computer on mine. And you know, on, I have a Mac, so it's very easy to find my downloads folder. It just goes right into the downloads. But if you don't, if you have a PC, more than likely it is in your downloads folder. So just click on that. You can open it up. And see now what you can actually do is you can take and copy and paste all three of these. I see I have tons of contacts, so what I'll do. What you may want to do first is go through and make sure that you don't have any that do not contacts. Because if you have ones that say do not contact on there, you don't want to input the, import those into Get Response. So all you have to do is just delete all those first. And then it really is just a matter of copying. I'll just do some examples here. Copy, control, C or Command C, depending on if you have a Mac or a PC. And now you're gonna go over to Get Response. And then click at the very top, you're gonna to be logged in first. At the very top, you wanna to click Add or Import Contacts. If you click on the Add Contacts button, you're only allowed to add 50 people in that way. So with the Import Contacts button, you can actually do it as many as you want. And then literally all you have to do is just click on that button where it says Copy and Paste, and then just copy and paste it into that into that little folder, and that's it. And then click this little button that says I give my word that my list is permission based, and then click the import contacts button. Now, I just want you guys to know, it doesn't happen automatically, it doesn't happen immediately, I should say. What happens is it actually goes over to compliance of get response, they look at it, and then they approve all of your contacts. So what you can actually do is let me, I know a lot of these are already in here, let me just have a couple. Now, if you go and you import contacts, what's going to happen is on the next on the next screen here, is you just want to change this so that way this is first name, change this so this is last name, and then the email address is there already. So what this will do is this will put everything; it'll segregate up your list for you, which makes things a lot easier. Um, I've heard of a few few people that don't have that. Um, maybe log out, try it again. Uh, for some reason, every once in a while, it gets kind of weird, but it sh you should be able to segregate first name, last name, and email address, and then you just click the next step. And then what you're gonna do is put them in the campaign that you want them to be in, depending on which or wherever it is. So more than likely, like Tim's Fit is my, my account that I have that I use for everything. And that's where I just put people in if I don't want them to be in an autoresponder. I'll actually teach you about autoresponders in a different in a different video, but this one here, so that way they won't get any information from me until I actually send out a, a broadcast. And then literally just click the finish import button, and then it'll say congratulations, you have successfully imported two contacts, and it will autom it will let you know the contacts that are in there. And then, like I said, within usually within 24 hours, you will see all those contacts in GetResponse. So that is how you get your contacts from Beachbody into GetResponse. If you wanna make sure that you get the next set of videos as they come out, I'm gonna do a few different videos and tutorials on GetResponse and how to do, do a few different things. If you wanna make sure that you get those videos, you can have them emailed right to you. All you have to do is enter your email, your name and email address into timsfit.com backslash 
Beachbody Coach Tips. There you'll get my YouTube my YouTube checklist for anybody that wants to create YouTube videos. That's the exact method that I go through whenever I post a video. So if you want to make sure that you get those videos, just click your name and email and I will make sure that I send it out to you as soon as they are created.